Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the bad cheese as always. Got another full breakdown for you guys. Every month, I try to put out a full breakdown video for you guys, and today I'm going to put out one of my best. Uh, I mean, I know I'm a couple days earlier from the new month, but this is going to be for January. I just figured it'd be best to put it out on the weekend because these are longer videos. That way, people would have some time to watch them uh, and basically, you know, take as much as you want from these offenses. So this is going to be uh, my Raiders offensive uh, playbook which like i said in a previous video that the raiders are one of the most uh popular offenses and when it comes to my viewership so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to kick it up a notch and i'm going to give you guys a full raiders breakdown this is not the full ebook though the ebook which obviously ebooks are a written version uh they have more plays they have more written stuff they have a lot more in the actual ebook so if you want to see uh all the plays and all the breakdowns and all of that stuff check out the ebooks link in the description below if you guys want to see more videos like this you guys want me to continue to do these month to month do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that let's go and let's get right into the video next up we get the halfback stretch I typically like to run this short side. Everybody's different. It's a very consistent run play regardless, but I just find that the user isn't typically expecting that. Um, a couple different adjustments that you can make. I mean, you can run it uh, just like it is, run it to the strong side. If you flip it, you can motion the tight end or you can motion the receiver. Um, the receiver sometimes to me, I mean, especially if you motion snap them, gives you a nice little, uh, it's like a wave effect. Although I didn't get much of a run there, but I mean, stretches aren't as consistent as they were last year, but there's still some of the better plays to go. Uh, I also like the motion out Goddard because some of the pass play, or some of the uh, some of the pass plays that I use um, have that same motion, and you can see how it really helped him to get out in front of the block. So I would say motioning out Goddard in the direction that I'm going and running it short side is probably my favorite way to go. Um, motioning him strong side, I don't necessarily think is better because it really tips your hand. Uh, but motioning him weak side, because like I said, a lot of the plays in the scheme, I motion that the fullback the same way, is probably the best way to do it. Next up, we got the out and up. Against cover one man, um, the, the X route's really designed to torch it. So streak uh, the tight end and block your running backs. Streak the tight end just to get um, that uh, safety over there. And then you can see how, I mean, I watched the replay. I uh, probably should have bullet passed that a little bit better. <laughs> Uh, but you can see how this uh, this out, out and up uh, concept uh, really torches the corner. So let's just go ahead and let's watch it on the replay. Uh, but you can see right here, once he goes out like that, I mean, that's a huge bite and then he's gone. And you're going to get that most of the time. So like I said, I mean, if anything, uh, the real issue is getting this uh, safety away from him. And that's really why you want to want to streak those guys. Against cover two, I'm going to motion the ball over. Against cover two, it's a really good play as well. Then I'm going to pick our cover two on defense. And like I said, all I really want to do against cover two is streak that tight end, motion snap Jackson, because he has an outside release route pattern again. And then you can see how we just pass lead outside. We have another really big play against cover two as well. So cover two, or cover two zone. And on the right side, man cover one or cover zero on the left side. Next up, we got the PA tight end leak. Against cover four, motion out Godwin here. Um, you can pass block the tight end, put the B on a smoke route, and then typically pass block your uh, your um, your running backs as well, um, if that helps because it doesn't seem to be. And then we're just motion, and then we're just bombing this up over the top. Next up, we have the Power O. Play like this, all you gotta do is flip it. It's really up to you if you wanna motion over Ertz or Jackson. Um, you know, either one's fine. I mean, you can see it definitely is gonna change the, the coverage pre-snap. Um, but you'll you know, you'll get a little bit of a blocking advantage against zone, against man coverage. If you motion over to Sean Jackson, motion over to the receiver, you're going to pull an extra defender across. So typically motioning over Ertz against man coverage is are uh, preferable uh, and then like I said it's just a good run play you can see it almost treats it like a counter play uh, where you're gonna be running inside even though it looks like an outside diagram 
it looks like you're trying to maintain the outside, but in reality, you're just trying to maintain the inside because that guy's always going to kick that free man out, and then you're going to go up the middle because that's where the alley is. This guy's going to become your lead blocker, uh, and if you would have actually, if I would have followed him a little bit better to lead him to that defender, I would have had a bigger play, but I, I was being chased immediately, so I took it outside. Next up, we got the stutter goes. The stutter goes is a uh, a good one play touchdown against cover one man. Um, you just need a receiver uh, that can can make the a good enough route run for the for the cornerback to bite, and then obviously you need a good throw. I didn't even get that throw out there enough, uh, but ultimately you can see on the other side if I go to the replay. Like I said that's it's really um, it's a tale of two sides. It's the same route on both sides, but this receiver is not really good enough to make the dude miss. Actually, he did as well. So. Um, typically, uh, you, the more consistent the receiver, the more consistent he will beat that because I have run that to the point where he doesn't beat that. And then they're both going away from the cover one safety, so you could also make sure you make the throw um, to whoever's furthest away from the, whoever's not drawing the cover one safety. Next up, we got the Y post. Against cover two, all you have to do is streak, uh, streak the tight end. Um, I can put the, uh, the, the running backs on blocks if I want to. Uh, motioning out Jackson. And motion snapping him as well um, it will help him get an acceleration boost, and then he's going to be a really big play uh, over the top of cover two cornerbacks and outside the safety because Zach Ertz is pulling the safeties in uh, with the streak, and that's pretty much it uh, as far as that goes for cover two. Against cover one, streak the X route, um, block your running backs, motion to Sean, motion snap to Sean, and he's going to get a little bit of a speed boost, enough that if you float the ball up, you can out sprint the receiver and uh, get a big play for a one play touchdown. Next up we have out of the iPhone 8 slot, the PA Flood F check. Against cover three because of the off, the off formation, the way it's offset like this, uh, for some reason one of the, the, the way they align it this year is pretty weird. So it's actually pretty easy uh, cover three one play touchdown um, if you can get protection, which I should have. I mean, I had two guys blocking absolutely nobody. But uh, either way, I mean, there should typically be plenty of protection. So let's do that one more time. Like I said, these two guys over here are just standing here with their hands in their pockets. Uh, and then, like I said, you just bullet and pass leading away, similar to the way that you would be in a cover four. Next up out of the I-Form 8 slot, we have the PAY throwback. This is pretty much a straight man-beater play. Everything on here is pretty much a man concept. I don't really find that Ertz... That route really works because he's not really that fast. But uh, on the right side, the zig route and the comeback route uh, will beat any man coverage. Man zero, man one, man two. doesn't really matter. Um, it's really just all timing. The easiest one is the B route. You get a good catch and run from that. Uh, the other one, I mean, really, it's just, I don't know. It, it, timing doesn't really, really matter when it comes to the to that comeback route. I mean, you really I should have waved a little bit more than I did. But he still had enough separation because uh, comeback routes are just really good for man. You can see I'm going to body it. Even if I don't get the separation, I typically going to have the ability to body it, defend, or shield my defender. So uh, it's good man concepts. Next up, we have the stretch alert bubble. This is the only stretch play sometimes that you have in certain playbooks, so it's going to be the best one that you can use. Um, the B route here uh, is going to be good against off coverage like cover three, cover four, where there's not an immediate cornerback in the area. So if you have something like that, you can do that. Uh, and the run is going to be best against man coverage because in man coverage, uh, there's typically not a cornerback on this side of the field uh, getting in the way. I mean, here, um, you know, whatever, the safety drops down, but you can see, I mean, there's nothing outside. Uh, I didn't really get the best run there, but trust me, against man coverages when there's when there's not much of an edge defense uh, here, um, you're typically going to have uh, a bigger lane to run. Uh, as you can see right there, kind of gamed it a little bit by uh, by snapping before the safety got down, but it ultimately doesn't matter. I mean, it is it is Adams, by the way. But like I said, trust me, that's going to be the best way to go. And it's actually a decent run. I mean, off coverage like cover three is a pretty decent run too, as you can see right here. I mean, the cornerback's playing off the same, so it's a really good cover three, cover four run. Next up, we got the halfback stretch. Stretch plays are best against off coverage, cover threes, and uh, cover fours. If you have a box safety, typically running it away from the box safety is going to give you an advantage. Here, I'll just motion this guy across. Uh, and then you can see, I mean, it's a really explosive run. Uh, like I said, off coverage is going to be best. Cover two, there's typically going to be a corner in the area taking away your outside lane. Next up, we got the PA Power O.
This is a good cover two beater play. I would just say motion out uh, the tight end. Just streak everybody because really you're trying to isolate the B route. Uh, and the B route will get outside this cornerback and outside the safety uh, because of the way that it bends. Next up we got the PA scissors. Now this is a play um, where I find it's best to uh, work the, the X route uh, by putting the, uh, the B route on a drag. Uh, you can motion the B route over and uh, do some other things. Uh, but ultimately, that, that drag is going to eventually pull the coverage down to get this tight end open. And to be fair about it, uh, the tight end was, I think the drag route was pretty open too. So I'll run that one more time. Like I said, the drag will be a big play. The drag takes a little while to get across. Uh, it might be usered a little bit more often than the, than the, uh, the tight end's route was, uh, which is why typically you want to hit the tight end. Next up, we got the flood shot. So against cover two, I mean, there's really a couple different things you can do. You just want to motion over one of these tight ends uh, for the most part and put them on a streak because ultimately uh, putting them on a streak and the A route on a drag is going to be the best setup for cover two. And then this X route here, I mean, those guys are just going to pull all the coverage needed for the receiver to do the job that you want and beat this cover two outside. Uh, probably could get an easy catch and run on that as well. So that's not just a, a big play. You can make a one play out of that. Now against just about everything else, uh, zone-wise, uh, you're pretty much just going to read the high-low. Like right there, didn't read the high-low well. Somehow came up with the catch. I don't know if it's because of Superstar or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that should have been an interception because I made a poor read. Uh, but like I said, when it comes to the the what I would consider the checkdowns, you're just reading these tight ends. I should have easily went here instead of going back because I, I just wanted a big play. But you can see he's got about 10, 15 yards of space. Uh, I know the user right there is just sitting in silence because that's me. But he would typically be dropping straight back on the on the you know urges route anyway next up out of the i form h wing we have the halfback stretch i typically uh i mean when it's condensed formation like this the the cornerback and safeties play closer to the box uh if you motion them out they'll actually back up and entry like a receiver so this is a scenario where motioning out the cover three cornerback is going to give you a big lane to the outside uh, as i accidentally fumble uh, but ultimately that's going to be the best way to run this play against off cover three off cover four and making a motion uh, just to kind of reset them and push them back. Uh, and then you'll also get a much better block from your tight end on a receiver, on a cornerback than you would a receiver. Uh, they'll typically get stronger and hold the point of attack. Uh, it's a really easy run to the outside. You can sometimes take it up the middle. Uh, sometimes that'll be the, the force. Uh, it really all depends on this block. If this tight end uh, really following him, I'll go to the replay to show that. Yeah, watching this tight end right here, he's, he doesn't have outside leverage. Um, so right here, since he did, he gets beat outside a little bit, he holds that block enough. If, if that defender was outside anymore, I would have to follow the fullback up this gap right here. That's really the only read you need to be watching is, is, is where does this outside edge defender go? And you can see it's still pretty tight inside. There wouldn't have been a hole if I went inside, so I had to go outside. So you're really just basing it off of that one read. What happens with that tight end and that outside linebacker? Next up, we got the PA counter shot. It's another cover for one play touchdown. Doesn't really need any adjustments. I typically think putting the B in a drag is a good call. That's a good high low that you can run against just about any defense. As you can see right here, it's going to find spacing, uh, especially against cover four, but any zone coverage. You're really just going to watch the high and the low and then basically throw to the opposite of whichever way the uh, the receivers or the, the, the cover linebackers drop. So if they drop back towards A, you got to throw to B. If they drop down towards B, you got to throw to A. Really simple. Other than that, uh, it's a really good, like I said, to come with the one play touchdown against cover four um, there. Uh, there, I mean, you could definitely benefit from, from you know, making one of these tight ends a blocker. Um, you know, that's something that uh, you have a choice to do. So if you're just going for that home run, you can see right there it didn't really work out. So we'll do that one more time. Hopefully I don't have the same issue as far as blocking goes. And once he gets past that safety, you can see how easily he's going. I mean, that's like a 60, 70 yard ball in the air. Next up, we have the PA Power O. Play here's a good cover two play. I gotta go and I gotta put cover two on there. 
Um, just motion out Goddard or motion out uh, one of the tight motion one of the tight ends across. That's really all I got to do. We just need somebody close to the line um, to keep the, uh, the 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 safety over the top here occupied and, and tighter. Uh, but you can see the outside release that Godwin gets uh, really makes it uh, an easy up the field play. Let's go. Let's go watch, watch the replay there uh, because he really shot off that line. And like I said, it's really because um, these cornerbacks in cover twos. I don't know how I ended up over here. These cornerbacks in cover twos. Uh, when we get to the replay. These cornerbacks in cover twos, uh, their job really is to force the play back into um, into the safety. That's the, is to physically kind of get them in there. You can see, I could tell something didn't go right because he completely whiffed. Like they can, sometimes they jam or, or they get a hand on. Like the animation really changes. He completely whiffed on him. So that's why you're seeing that look where he really just got shot out of a cannon. Uh, and even if he does get a part of him, it doesn't really matter because the outside release, he's not going to get forced back into the safety, and that's why he's going to beat cover two regardless. Next up, we got the halfback blast. Motion the fullback over a little bit. That's all I really got to do. Uh, and it's just a, it's just a good inside run. Uh, inside runs are, are really solid uh, this year, and uh, especially runs to this particular gap, like the you know. You know, this type of play for some reason is, is where the ball, uh, typically where the holes are biggest. I couldn't tell you why. It's just how Madden programmed it this year. Uh, and like I said, it's just a good uh, good inside run. Next up by the off slot close, we have the uh, halfback stretch. So this play here, flip the play, motion the fullback over. It's one of the better ways to run it. You have a, a pretty big blocking advantage. Uh, to the edge and you can see there's you know, there's nothing really else to it now if it's a man coverage uh, And there's no cornerback on the right side. You can run it that way uh, You can even you know go as far as to motion the motion the tight end out in that direct or the fullback rather in that direction uh, But you can see he goes out a little bit further than I want for a man coverage So ultimately it's best just to flip the play if it's a man coverage and run it to the other side Next up we got the jet sweep Another good play, if somebody's in a cover three or cover four off coverage, uh, a lot of times you can just beat them outside because there's a lot of space. Cornerbacks are playing off and they're dropping back. So anybody running those type of defenses or even man coverages because a lot of times the man motions late. Uh, it doesn't motion, uh, it motions behind the receiver so you get a jump there too. And there's not typically a cornerback on that side in a man coverage. So I'm going to pick, next that's a Tampa 2. Tampa 2 would be the exact opposite. That would be something you don't want to run this against. Next up we got the PAFL Hitch. So against cover two, putting this uh, tight end on the streak, motioning him across. It's not actually cover two right now, but let's go. Let's put it on cover two. Uh, that's going to be all you need to make that X route a uh, really big play against cover two because he's the, the way that the uh, the release is, he runs outside of the the cornerback. So whether it's a cover two or a press cover two man. Uh, which I don't have in my audibles, but it doesn't really matter. So let's say it's a cover one pressed. It's going to be the same way. This this receiver here on the outside is going to run around that uh, and be a really big play. Now, if he's not pressed, it's not going to work. Cover two mans are typically pressed, which is the reason it'll be the cover two man also. And the reason that the cover two man safety won't get in the way is because the same reason that Ertz on a streak will pull that cover two safety back. Next up, we got the four verticals. Let's play right here, man. I just typically slant uh, the wire out. Um, it just creates crossing patterns over the middle. If you have like a man coverage, one of these crossing routes is going to work. Uh, that's probably the really the best is the is the slant though for man reads. If it's a man coverage, I'll just typically zig. I'll slant the Y route like I did and zig the RB route if it's a man, uh, because the zig route um, is typically really good. That wasn't actually a man, but it still got open. <clears throat> but those are your two man options. Next up, we got the hitch corners. So against cover two, all you really have to do is streak the A route. Um, but it's best to motion either motion across the B route or motion across the X route um, because they're going to have uh, the speed advantage. So it's going to be a little bit better uh, with like an inside throw like right here. I mean, I can just bullet pass lead away and you can see there's nothing but space it's up the middle against cover two. So against cover four, motion in Jackson here, put him on a streak and then the, the running back will get outside the cover four. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. 
Like I said, he's just they just don't cover these routes. So even though it's not a receiver, it's not a great route runner. If I had a better one, he'd be open even by even more. Next up, we got the quarterback draw. Another play. I mean, if you're spreading your opponent out, uh, they're not going to expect too many run plays. So a good quarterback draw is something that's going to definitely uh, keep them on their toes. You can see the receivers pull back if it's a man coverage, especially the receivers. Um, they don't stop and block; they run routes. So they're going to draw everybody back, even if it's zones. For the most part, they're going to draw everybody back. If you have a gap in the middle of the field like I do here, it's just going to be a really easy run play. Next up, we got the bunch trail against cover three. Block the running back, block the tight end, shift the uh, slide the protection to the right, and then put the RB route on a smart route, and that's going to uh, shorten him uh, to the point where you're basically just waiting for this X route to clear. And I, I typically like the roll in that direction, but the protection wasn't wasn't holding up to let me. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because you can see it's a really big play against cover four. Just block the same two guys. Um, the RB route, I mean, I don't, you can, you can just put him on a drag. I'd say smoke the B route, just short routes is all you really need because ultimately, um, you're just trying to get, create separation. They're actually threw the ball kind of late, but it won't matter. So, <laughs> so you're just waiting for him to cross inside the safety and then you just bullet pass leading away from the free safety and it's another one play touchdown. Next up is the verticals against man coverage, block the running back put the uh the the x route on a drag um you can even motion him in so it'll get across the formation faster uh so but that'll use up your your one motion for the play uh, and then ultimately he'll get across the formation you'll get a good catch and run underneath um so that's really the best option for man you could also you know put a zig on the b route and stuff like that if you want to uh, against cover two block the running back once again drag the x route this time you're going to motion out to Sean. You're going to put the A route on a streak. And that's going to uh, help the uh, the B route get open outside above the cover two. Just bullet, pass lead to the sideline, and safe catch. So you make sure to catch it in bounds. Next up we got the drag under. So motion out the RB route. And the, uh, the Y route will get open in the cover three seam uh, pretty much every play. A lot of times I'll pass lead him away from the cornerback. Uh, but it's a pretty consistent play against cover three. I also like to uh, to drag the, the X route from time to time. Uh, coming back the other way. But it isn't necessary. Then you have uh, good check downs though. You have the, the X routes that get hit. But you got good check downs to the drags. Uh, typically the drag coming open underneath the pulling routes will be better than the other way around Next up we got the spacing Another play you just want to put the Y route on a streak It's going to create separation for the B route outside um, To uh, catch it over a cover too. just bullet pass lead to the sideline and safe catch at the sideline Next up out of the gun bunch quads we have the Z spot This play here, all I want to do is put the Y route on a streak, and the B route is going to beat cover two really easily outside. Just bullet pass lead to the side to the sideline and safe catch. Next up, we got the PA boot over. So against cover three, if you want to hit a one play touchdown, just drag the Y route, block the running back. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to roll away from the drama. Uh, and we're just going to get an easy throw over the top. So you just really have to short the routes against cover three. Also works against cover four. Same idea, although this time I'm going to block the A route because I just like how against cover four the blocking like really seems to change on this edge. So like I said, just waiting for this X route to clear one more time. And we have a really easy one play touchdown against cover three and cover four. Next up, we got the tight end corner. So this play here against cover two, all you got to do is streak the B route, put the X route on a flat, and it's a really easy cover two one play touchdown here. Like I said, you just kind of have to wait for that cornerback to get completely out of position, and you're going to be scoring easy touchdowns. That's cover two. Against cover three, against cover three, all you got to do is motion out uh, the running back the same way. Just put him on a, uh, a motion. And that's pretty much all you got to do. Once again, flat that, uh, flat the um, the X route, and you're really just waiting for that B route 
to uh, to get going right there. As you see, the uh, the cornerback will eventually react down to the uh, to the corner out. Now I forgot to, to streak the tight end the first time too. That's also important. So, like I said, that's your look. Flatting the X route, and then here we go. Let's go. Let's do this one more time. Like I said, waiting for that receiver to bite on that corner route, and then bullet pass it away. Easy one play touchdown. Next up, out of the gun at the tray stack, we have the fade out. Play right here, just gonna want to motion into Sean, put him on a streak. He doesn't go far, but that's enough that he's gonna get going. Uh, and then I just have to wait for that cornerback to bail. And then we have a really easy one play tutty to uh, to Deshaun over the top bullet, pass lead away. Against cover two. Gonna have a pretty similar uh, idea. Same setup, the Y route's going to get outside uh, for a good, uh, good chunk play. Just bullet pass it away, safe catch on the sideline. Next up we got the Z under. It's another play, just motion and Deshaun, put him on a streak. Uh, you can put the, uh, the A on a drag, uh, but ultimately I'm just waiting for that quarterback to bail again and give me an easy one play to Deshaun. Just basically bullet pass lead to the edge and it's another one play touchdown. Against cover two, which is why I was saying to drag uh, the tight end. Um, you'll have similar success with the Y route as long as you bullet it up the field. Um, and then I, you know, if you don't run out of bounds, I could have been going for another touchdown. So cover two, cover three, very explosive play. Next up, we got the fake screen wheel. So I'm putting the Sean on a streak, the A route or the X route on a streak, the B route and the A route all on streaks. Uh, that's pretty much going to be all she wrote. The Y route is going to be a good cover two play, and the B route is going to be a good cover three play once the cornerback turns his attention to the uh, the wheel route. Uh, then I just bullet pass it away from the safety. You don't really, I don't think you have to really make any adjustments against cover two because it's kind of already a cover two play, but you can do that motion if you want to. If you want to mirror the look, you can set it up the same way I did against cover three, uh, but you can see it's a really easy cover two play. It's already kind of set up that way. Next up, we got the PA cross shot for use against a lot of shit. Streak the A route, streak the Y route, and this is pretty much going to be the look no matter what defense you're running it against. Um, you're really just playing the high versus the low coming across like we have cover three right here You can see I mean that's gonna you know that that, that could really be gone up the scene uh, I also find that putting the X on a um, On a streak helps as well um, Against like I said against like cover twos that route might not necessarily be there as much uh, But other than that, I mean it's going to be pretty consistent here. We got a cover two like I said you can see it's pretty much it's almost, you know, if I had more room, I could be catching and running this for, for much bigger plays if I wanted to move the ball over. So against pretty much any zone, it's going to have that effect. That includes cover four, if I have that in the in here. Like I said, this is just, you know, usering ain't what it was. So this is something that you can run pretty consistently. So against cover four... Um, you can do the same thing Usering really isn't uh, isn't really what it was you can see it there. That's gonna take a tight throw though So now we got that cover through look one more time And like I said, I mean that cornerbacks just sitting back not really something you're gonna get going a lot of get with but it's a really big play Streak the A route, put the Y route, a drag. Maybe block the running back, you don't really need him doing that. And uh, ultimately against pretty much any man or zone, this B route or this Y route is going to be open for a big play, a chunk play. You're typically not going to turn up for a touchdown. Uh, only cover four gives that last, that last cover four corner will give that route problems. Other than that, I mean, it's going to be very successful against man. Um, this is, you know, giving that the, it's hard to, uh, to use or control anything. As you can see right here, I mean, this is definitely going to be going against man, although I just, you got to float it against man. I probably could have bolted that and turned up, uh, but that's definitely one of the better man plays. Let's go and let's run against man one more time. Should have blocked my, should have been blocking my running back pretty much every time, but I didn't do that. So like I said, right here, good crossing route against man. 
can definitely get go get ghost against man coverages with that. Next up, we got the inside cross. So let's play right here against cover three and cover four. That's a one play touchdown. You just have to wait till this guy gets past. I gotta get a. I gotta set my feet better than that. But you can see, I mean, he, he's he's definitely there. So against cover four and cover three, we got a one play touchdown. I really should have blocked that running back and that tight end. So against cover three and cover four, we got a one play touchdown. Just block the running back and the tight end combination. Uh, then you just have to buy time for this guy to get inside this safety. Once he does, he's gone. I say that's the same thing against cover four. It's going to be the same look. I'll just wait till they get set. I said, I just want the blocking. That's all I really care about because I'm, I'm hitting home run. I know it. So just waiting for him to get past that guy again. He actually kind of like sucks. Like he kind of hung on there more than like normal, but you'll typically get more separation than that. Next up, we got the PA slot corner. So against cover three, motion across. Good one here. Put the X, A, and B route all on streaks. Block the running back. And this is all you're going to need here. For a cover three one play touchdown so just waiting for that cornerback to bite and then boom we're just hitting it up top uh to the b route which is pass leading bullet pass leading outside uh, against cover four and cover two it's going to be the exact same setup um cover four and cover two are going to be the a different route though we're going to go tampa two here basically the um the y route is going to beat both of those uh you know you just have to uh against cover two you got to pass lead it up like that and against cover four you just have to wait till it gets outside so we're going to do against the cover four real quick against cover i mean you don't even have to really you know this these other routes are really meaningless like i say you're just kind of waiting you just this route here just doesn't get covered by those outside cornerbacks basically next up we got the stretch alert x smoke it's another good play it's good against cover three cover four um, the X route here, as long as you uh, run the uh, run the smoke the opposite side of the safety. Like if I flip the play here and I run to this side, the safety is right there, so it's not going to work. Uh, although the run will, the run will work better. <laughs> so you really have to go away from the cover three safety, and whichever side you go in the run or the pass is going to be better away from the cover three safety. It's a good run overall, but against cover three and cover four, it's going to be best. Next up, we have the Z post Y out. Here's another play that you really just uh, a one play touchdown against cover three and cover four. You just have to wait for this B route to cross that safety. Uh, there I, just, I got a little bit of pressure and I had to throw it. Against cover four, it's pretty much the exact same thing. No real adjustments needed. Um, you're just going to see, like I said, I'll motion out again, roll out again. And uh, the B route there, it will get behind the safety one more time. It's going to be best to put the X route on an out route, smart route them. Um, that's going to be the easiest way to beat these defenses. So cover three, uh, you can see that cornerback really stays down. He's nowhere near capable of making a play. And then you can see I keep beating it. I don't know why I'm not making the, the catch. Um, but, but it is what it is there. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the, uh, do the cover four one more time. Like I said, we'll, we'll, with the cover four variation that's easiest is going to be to put him on a uh, smoke route, put the X route on a smoke route because he's really the guy that's getting in the way of things. So we're going to do this one more time. Like I said, those those safeties are way down in the box. And then you can see Deshaun here is just getting nothing but space. Next up, the single back deuce close. we got the bench. So this play right here, uh, the Y routes can typically beat cover threes outside. Uh, the X routes, you can dot that up against cover three, but it's more the X routes are more, uh, the receiving routes, I should say, are more cover two based. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll pick the Tampa two. Uh, you can make that even better. If you streak the Y route and motion across um, the, uh, the tight end here, um, and you just put him on like an out route or something like that. I mean, you can create bigger spacing for the X route against cover two uh, by, by dressing it up with these other routes. Uh, but it's a pretty decent cover two route by itself. Without any adjustments, really. And like I said, against cover three as well. I mean, you can dot this up against cover three, against cover four. That route will get open. 
Next up, we get the halfback stretch. So, just a good outside run. Nothing really to it. Uh, typically, these uh, receivers do a pretty good job of setting the edge. It's going to be good against cover three, cover four, any off coverage, zone coverage that's going to be weak to the outside. Next up, we got the PA boot slide. All you got to do is put the A route on a streak, and the B route will be a good cover two play. Uh, to the outside. If you have a real fast uh, receiver, I mean, he could be going. Deshaun Jackson there had an opportunity. Uh, but if you want, if you really want the catch and run space, you got to run it to the open side of the field. Just gonna let's do that one more time. So like I said, right there. I mean, it's it's a big play. Next up, we get the bench corner stop against cover two. Streak, uh, streak the A route. Put the Y route on a, on a drag, and uh, the B route's gonna get open uh, over the top of it. It's, takes a, it's not the easiest throw to make. I mean, you gotta pass lead up and uh, drop it in the bucket, but it's a good play. Next up, we got the jet sweep. So we got a good play to the edge here. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, I could, I, I'm gonna out sprint these guys one way or the other and typically get a decent gain. Uh, the way this blocking sets up, you don't typically gonna have to take this short. Like some some plays, it's it's best to take it short. Uh, this is a play where you're gonna be able to take it outside pretty much every time because it's just good blocking to the edge. Next up, we got the stretch alert screen. It's another play. It's gonna be best against a uh, a cover three look because um, you know the screen is gonna be best against cover threes because of the off coverage. Uh, so you can you can get a good play on that side. Uh, if you if you get a cover three or a cover four, uh, but it's also I typically just use it as a stretch, and the stretch runs pretty solid. Uh, once again, against cover three, cover four, off coverage is going to be best. If it's cover two or something like that, there's going to be a corner in the way a lot of times. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, this is a this is a really good run. I mean, you're getting you're getting alignment out on a corner. That's typically going to win. I just kind of sprint it up his back, but ultimately, it's a very consistent play. Next up, we got the bench switch. So this play right here. If it's a cover three, you can streak both of these receivers on the inside, motion this guy across here, block the, the running back, and the wire out is typically going to be gone. All you have to do is wait for uh, the, the cornerback to follow that X route, and then you have to bullet and pass lead away, and you're going to have a really explosive one-play touchdown. Against cover three, though, I mean, you, you got good routes already against cover three. Like, you can just run it as is, and the underneath routes are really good against cover three. Against cover two, cover four, man coverage, motion across the A route, put them on a streak, put the Y route on a flat, um, and that's going to be uh, best practice for cover two. You can see right there, there's a hole, you got to pass lead up to get it. It's not necessarily the easiest throw for people to make, but it's there. So pass lead up, kind of a little bit of a lob. Next up, we got the drive flood. So I'll just put the A route on the streak, motion out the B route. B route's going to be cover two. So he beat, he gets outside the press, bullet, pass lead outside. Really easy cover two play, get a chunk play. Got a safe catch uh, to make sure that he doesn't go out of bounds, but easy play. Next up, we got the jet sweep. This is a play, funny enough, you can flip this and run it with your tight end. Not necessarily the best idea, but you might not have a choice. Uh, but it's nice you got a power guy if you have a powerful tight end you could have a power sweep there so that's not a not the end of the world uh, but ultimately you're going to be best running it uh to uh the other side now here i had an extra defender in the box but since i have so much speed at the slot receiver pretty much any receiver is going to have the ability to stretch it outside and run around it uh, and this can be a, a good play next up we got the pa pump go against cover one motion out this route here Streak the uh, streak the wire out in hopes that he'll pull that uh, that across, and you can see how the B route is a really good uh, man beater. Whether it's cover one, whether it's cover zero, uh, I'll go to the replay to show what he did there. Watch that one more time. Like I said, it's not always going to beat it, but you'll know the second he's even, and he's still not really in position. I mean, you can see it's just. You know, I could throw right here on a bullet pass, but I'm trying to get a touchdown, so. Against cover three, streak A, streak Y. Put the X route on a smart route to shorten that. And the Y route 
is going to be uh, it's going to be gone if I can. <laughs> if I had a little more speed, it would have been going anyway. But that's typically a one play touchdown. Next up, we got the halfback stretch. This you can run either side. Um, I mean, you just kind of want to go from where go away from wherever the box safety is. Typically, if it's a man coverage, it's going to be best to run to the tight end side. If it's a zone coverage, it's going to be best to run to the other side and motion one of these guys across. But in this scenario, I mean, we do have an extra box defender, but that's fine because I'm going to bring this guy across. I'm going to even that out. So, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. So, like I said, you have a good play uh, either way. Uh, but like I said, against man, you're running it to the right. Against zone, you typically run it to the left. So here we got a man coverage. He said there's nothing really out there, although I, I don't know. He shut that off. I thought I had that. Go ahead, we'll do that one more time. Let's do that man coverage one more time. Like I said, I ain't really changing too much. Ugh. Next up, we get the halfback zone weak. This play is really consistent running behind the receivers. Um, a lot of times, you can just get a hole like right there, right up the middle. Uh, but you can also treat it like a stretch play and take it to the outside. It really depends on the formation you're looking at. If you're running this against like a, like something that's a little bit more uh, like a nickel package, you're typically going to have an outside lane more often. Uh, but it's a very consistent run. One of the most consistent runs that I personally use the most. Next up, we got the jet sweep. It's another good run play. I mean, cover threes, cover fours. You got them off coverage looks. Um, there, I mean, you had a guy break three, but... Based on the fact that I got the speed advantage, it didn't really matter. That's the idea behind these type of runs. I mean, you're getting it to your fastest guys, your receivers. and He's constantly breaking in, but it's not really mattering. I don't know why he's beating that uh, beating that tackle like that, but no big deal because it's, it's not really it's not really affecting the play. Uh, it could be because um, it's the, the user-controlled player. But ultimately, if he wasn't messing this play up, I'd be getting even more. So you can see how, how good of a play this is. I'll go ahead and I'll switch this user-defensive player over, see what changes. Um, with this look because uh, I mean, I don't know he's just standing up But like I said, you can see I mean, it's a much bigger play now that he wasn't making me run backwards a little bit before running forward So very explosive play Except we got the smash Typically like to just put this guy in a flat Against uh, cover two That should be enough you can motion across one of these receivers one of these tight ends uh, put them on a streak and it'll make the cover two variation even better uh, for the for the B route especially uh, as you can see I mean I'm gonna have this is gonna be an explosive one play touchdown caliber play now against cover two uh, that that exact same setup will work best also against cover three and cover four so we'll go ahead and we'll do that one time so now we got a cover three which really shouldn't uh, be beat by this but it is you know what I mean like you can see right there it gets outside of that too because that cornerback has to choose between the two it's kind of funky with the AI then uh, same thing with cover for drop show too uh, although this you don't have to make a motion because the B route just beats it outside by itself as long as you wait long enough They're, those cornerbacks just don't react on those underneath routes those uh, corner routes so it's really good against all those types of defenses next up we got the four verticals Both outside routes are covered two beaters. Just motion out the RB route. I typically won't go to the tight end side because there's just not a lot of speed out there. But um, that can, if you have a fast tight end, you can make that happen. <clears throat> but ultimately, I'd say it's best to run this to the open side of the field as much as possible and uh, hit the hit the hit the uh, the square route. I'm sorry, the uh, <laughs> the X route there. Bullet pass lead to the side. You're going to get some big plays. You can catch that and turn up the field, too. And uh, it's possible. It's capable of getting one play touchdown, but it's tight. Next up, we got the PA draw shot. Here's a cover one concept. I find slanting or dragging the X route is the best way to go. Uh, and then waiting for the B route to cross uh, is the most consistent route. It's one of the better uh, cover one man routes. Uh, or just man routes in general as far as crossing the field. Next up, we got the PA zone shot. We take away the animation of that uh, that drop. I mean, it's just too much. So blocking the running back takes that away. And then I'm just kind of holding out hope until he's gone. I'm just bombing it up, man. Carson with the bazooka. Next up, we got the stretch alert X looky. So this is another play. I mean, if it's a cover, it's 
So this play right here, I'm just using it for the stretch. Um, there's really nothing else I'm not going to throw to the slant. It's just too much cause for trouble. Uh, and you have a, th a three block advance to the edge, so it's going to be pretty consistent. I mean, these stretch plays, uh, or these uh, RPO plays, I should say, are uh, usually pretty good. Just as long as these blocks hold up, you're going to have a lot of good runs to the outside. Uh, like right there. But look at that hellacious block. <laughs> so, like I said, consistent run for this formation. Next up, we have the bench flat. It's a pretty good play as is. I'm going to focus on the bench switch side for the most part. Um, so I would say put the Y route on, on a streak, uh, then block the running back, block the tight end. I mean, those those routes aren't necessarily too important. Um, I'm going to either put the X route on a flat, uh, which you're going to see here is going to really help to get that B route open against cover too. Uh, if you just pass it up the field a little bit, you can see how you're going to have uh, a pretty easy play. Uh, against cover two is pretty consistent also against man uh, and uh, you know that's pretty much your best two bets is uh, cover two and man coverage next up we got the PA cross curl this is a cover two play so this play here all you really got to do against cover two put the B route on a drag uh, and then you know block your running back <clears throat> maybe even block your fullback really doesn't matter but ultimately um, this is going to be a play uh, that the, the B route will eventually pull coverage down uh, and to get the X route open. It's not going to be a one play touchdown, but it's a very consistent play against cover two. Next up out of the week close, we have the PA mesh. This is a play here. All you want to do, you can, uh, I mean, you can either um, block. I like the, I, this is a good cover four play. All you have to do, I mean, it really doesn't need any adjustments against cover four, but I typically like to put the, uh, the X route on a flat. Um, the B route's just going to beat it outside. Uh, as you can see, just the cornerbacks outside, they just don't do a good job of covering these corner routes. It's really that simple. So cover for a really good play. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.